Oh my god, did you like see that he just killed a popo? I cannot believe he do that to furry dog. I'm gonna go. Hello, my fellow hunters. Today, let's talk the Boa Boa, the brand new, really just fantastic hunting tribe on the Hawfrost Reach, and what you can do for them so that they can do something very special for you. Give you the brand new Icebawn gadget, which you can have on at all times, in addition to whichever other gadget you like using. So, this is very much worth doing for a number of reasons. Chiefly because, well, it's very effective. When you're running around solo and want a little bit of an easier time, you can just forever summon a tail raider and a feline companion to fight with you. And that is amazing because they are incredibly effective and provide distractions for the monster and generally make lazy farming much easier. But also, this is fantastic for the new treasure system in Icebawn, which I'll go into into a later date, but needless to say, without the ability to constantly summon felines and make yourself great friends with them, you're not going to get any of the fantastically cool goodies dotted around the map. And it's a very simple process. That process we're going to go through today. Firstly, talk to your Linnean researcher in Celiana, and he'll tell you all about the Boa Boa, giving you everything that you need to know and know her. So, you go to the Hawfrost Reach on an expedition, and you talk to him again. He's on your map, he hangs around near the camp, he's very spotable for someone so tiny. Will I never? Now that you've talked to him again, you're going to have a couple little boa boa scouts following you everywhere you go creepily staring at all you do inspecting you judging you well you need to give them a show you need to give them a right good little show and that show in question is proof of your hunting skills so of course <laughs> I went and slew the easiest monster, because, you know, I just wanted it just wanted it over and done with. But essentially, find a large monster on the map, kill it, and as you injure it, more and more of them will show up, giving you a bigger and bigger audience and making so much pressure on you. It's like they're all there, and you make a mistake, and they'll all see it. It's so embarrassing. But you'll get little pop-ups to let you know that you're getting close. Boa? Boa! And of course, that means... Well done. And then, once you've killed it, they'll all be very pleased with you and they'll be like, we accept you. So we'll be waiting for you in the southmost camp. Come back, talk to us, and we'll parlay. So you go back to camp, you have a little chat, and they agree to show you their secret little hideout. So you follow them to zone two, you grab onto a wing drake, and you get flown to a little hot spring with a cave. And this place is fantastic. It's a lovely lovely little hideaway and it's really cool seeing the boa boa do their thing. I think they're by far the most interesting tribe. They really have an awesome setup. They value their hunting. They really go for it. They take down large monsters all the time with coordination, teamwork and spears and it's just really, really awesome to me seeing their little lives on the Hawfrost Reach. They really know what they're doing. Either way, you will get propositioned. Not like that. And that proposition is to hunt a tempered Beotodus with the tribe. And this is a normal optional quest to star and of course the next step is to do it But not before you have a look around inside and take in all the boa boa Oh my god, don't you love popo? I love popo! Popo are fantastic! Oh my god, Steve! Stop talking about the popo! I love the popo! You can't love the popo if I love the popo! Hey, both of you shut up! I love the popo! The popo are my gods, not yours! Fascinating. So, on the hunt, you have to do something a little bit special. You initially leave the camp, you grab yourself some slinger ammo, nothing too deadly, rocks all be fine, and you have to hit yourself a popo and cause it to start wandering over to the zone that it needs to be in. It's a neat little way of hunting, and the boa boa is showing you that the tricks that they do to lure monsters and trap them. It's all very self-explanatory, you just follow what they tell you, follow the popo, and it's really quite cool, essentially running with these guys to battle. Ah! We came from the land of the ice and snow from the midnight sun when the hot springs flow. 
So the Popo gets killed, they launch their assault with the spears, knock it over, battle commences, you do a lot of hunting, you eventually kill it, and again, you're fighting with a huge team of Boa Boa constantly helping, and it really is just a lot of fun, a very unique experience worth doing, really just for that. And once you kill your tempered Beotodus, you are in their good books forever, they will stop attacking you around the map, you can hunt with them if you find one on the map, and generally they act like all the other friendly tribes now that you have helped them out. And they will give you then your object that you're after, their gadget. And this is the Tail Raider Signal. And essentially, as soon as you use it, and again, you can have it on all the time, as well as a normal gadget from Base World, and when you press it, a Tail Rider will come running in with a feline riding on top of him, and they will both fight for you. And this is great. It really is. If you get a Giros in the Guiding Lands, for example, you've got a little Paralysis bot, and it works wonderfully. But more than that, every time you press it and fight with a feline, you raise your friendship, your unity level with that tribe. And you need to get to high unity levels if you want to grab all of the treasures hidden around all the maps, because they won't tell you where they bloody are, they won't help you get them, they won't let you until you're really good pals. So you're going to be doing a lot of farming just with them if you want to make this happen, and this makes that so much easier. And as you know from my build where a Palico plus a Gadjalaka solos Elder Dragons in less than 10 minutes, I am very excited to have this because it's going to shave so much time off that, and I want to play with that build and see if I can power up these guys and bring them in and keep whistling them in after they've died, and I am so beyond pumped to give that a little bit of a tinker. But for now, that's all you need to know. Go out, grab it, make it so, and have fun frolicking with those that know the Popo. Like you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I will see you soon. A good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.